Hello, Omar. Good afternoon. Can you hear me today, Omar? Hello, Damaris. How are you? Omar. Hi, teacher. Hi, Damaris. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's good. I'm just waiting for Omar. I don't know if he can hear us or not. Omar, are you here? Omar. Did you fix the problem with your audio, Omar? Omar, can you hear me, Omar? You can use your microphone. Hi, teacher. Oh, finally, Omar. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Omar. <laughs> Milagro. <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> and today that is the last day of the week. Is the last class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Omar. I'm happy for you. <laughs> well, it's just the. You too, when well, we are three today. I don't know where is everybody, I mean the rest of the guys. So we're going to start checking the homework, okay? I think they are going to arrive anytime soon. So let's start with the workbook. If you want to open your cameras, open your cameras so we can see each other, not just me. No. Why? Ay, Damaris. Damaris. Yo voy a... No, Damaris. Aquí está bien. No, why, Damaris? We know you. Omar. You can open your camera, Omar. No me peiné otra vez. Ay, Damaris. Just put on a hat or a cap or something, and that's it. El lunes, mejor. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's start checking the homework. It was the lesson D in your workbook. Today we're going to start with the unit 11, remember. Well, lesson D, this are reading, it says a busy birthday. 1A, look at the four pictures, then read Peter's blog online journal 
number the pictures in order from one to four. Well, you did this activity at home. Uh, you were supposed to read this article. So here we have that. This is a picture number one. Let me look for my pen. Dun, 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 dun. Where is my pen? I think it's this one. Okay, so this is a picture number one. And this picture, the first one, do you know the number? The first picture is number four. Number four? Yes. So this one, you said that is number four. Let's see. Okay, number four. Four, one, and then? Two. Two. So this is the number three, okay? Yes. Yes. Do you have the same, Omar? Omar, do you have the same answers? Do you have the same answers, Omar? Four, one, two, three. Um, yes. Yes. Four, one, two, three. Yes. Excellent, Omar. Well, now let's continue with this. Okay, here below we have the questions. It says read the blog again, then answer the questions and give reasons for the no answers. Okay, number one says, did, did Peter get up late? No, he didn't. He needed to study. Number two, Damaris, can you read the question and answer, please? Did Peter take an English exam? No, he didn't. The teacher never come. Okay, number three, Omar. Question and answer, please. Did he listen to his match teacher? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes or no? <laughs> Yo no la tengo esa teacher. Ay, no la tengo. <laughs> Es que ayer ya no supe si dejó tarea o no, y yo también no pregunté. Ay, Omar, so you didn't do the homework, Omar. Okay, okay, well, Omar, just pay attention to your partners and try to take notes in your book, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see, well, Abigail is here. Abigail, can you read number three, please, question and answer? Yes. Um, did he listen to his math teacher? Um, yes, he did. Uh, she talked for an hour. Huh? She talked for an hour. Okay, correct. Number four, Damaris. Did he go out with a friend? Uh -huh. Yes, they did. They went to see a movie together. Okay, correct. Number five, Abby. Did Peter's mother call? Yes, she did. She called it and sang happy birthday. Okay, she called. Called. Remember, call it? No, called. She called. Uh huh. Sang. Uh huh. And? And sang. Sang, uh huh. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Correct. And that is number six. Do you think he's a good student? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do, but he needs to study more. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, perfect. Exercise two says my last birthday. It says read the blog on page 80 again, match the two parts of each sentence. Number one, Peter studied when, letter C, he got up in the morning. Number two, Abby. Peter had breakfast after 
let it be a. Um, he left his English class. After he left his English class? Yes. So he had breakfast after the English class? I don't remember. Let me see. I need to study. I woke up early. I took a shower. I some coffee. I stood for an hour. Breakfast, and then I went to my next class. He says I had breakfast, and then I went to my class. He left his English class. Yes, number three. Who? Damaris. When Peter went to his math class, let me, he fell asleep again. Again. Number four, Abby. Peter finished class, then he met his friend Luisa. Okay. And Damaris, number five. Peter saw a movie before he went home. Okay. Perfect. Uh, letter B says, now think about a day you remember. Well, answer these questions, right? More than yes or no. Okay, so you have to think about any day in the past and you're going to answer these questions. Number one, Abby. Did you work or have class? Classes? Classes? Yes, I did. I had had English class. Perfect. Uh, number two, Damaris. Did you go out with friends? No, I didn't. Okay, number three, Omar. Think about any day, Omar, about last week. Did you do something fun? Did you? Did you do something fun? Something, something fun? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh. Yes or no? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm something fun. Okay, one more time. Okay, you said yes. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember, yes, I did. I am, what did you do? I'm do. Remember, it's past. What did you do? What is the fun activity that you did? Uh, I don't know. Did you play sports? Did you go swimming? Did you play video games? What did you do? Did you go to the movies? Uh, Play guitar. Uh -huh. Okay, I played the guitar. I play. mm -hmm. Just like that, Omar. Yes, I did. I played the guitar. Okay, and that's it. Thank you, Omar. Okay. Number four, Damaris. Did you eat a piece of your favorite food? Yes, I did. I ate tacos oh. and picada. Ay, delicious. <laughs> okay, number five, Abby. Did you go to any stores? And um, no, I didn't. I I can I can go home. I can't go home or I stay home? Oh, yes, I stay home. You stay home, okay, correct. And number six, Omar, again. <clears throat> Did you get home late? Uh -huh. um, yes, I... I I do get home late. Pay attention. We had did. I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Uh, yet. 
I? Yes, I did. I yet. Okay. Do you remember the simple past of get? Get is present. And in simple past? Past is uh, I getting. What? Huh? getting. No, that is present. That is uh, ing. Get on. I got. Got. Yes, I did. I got late. Uh huh. Okay. That is the past of get. Yes, I did. I got late. Okay. Thank you, Omar. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue. Well, we will just keep the letter C. Let's move to the uh, progress chart. Okay. So we can go fast. So this is the progress chart. Uh, it says mark the boxes below to read your progress. Remember, this is like a review of the unit 10, and this is your feedback, okay? A personal feedback. So let's start with the grammar. Uh, number one, make simple past statements with regular verbs. Remember, regular verbs are the ones with ed endings, like opened, walked, watched, uh, do you remember some other regular verbs in past? Tell me. Regular verbs in past. What do you Run. remember? What? Run. Run is irregular. Regular verbs, remember the ones with E, D endings. Remember the A. What? Chat, chatted, watched, what, watch, invited, uh huh, right, yes, cleaned, cleaned, played, yes, all the verbs that we saw in lesson A. Okay, here it says make simple past statements. Okay, what we're going to do, you're going to tell me two sentences, one affirmative and one negative in simple past using regular verbs. For example, I watched TV last night or I didn't watch TV last night. Now tell me two examples, each of you. So let's start with Abigail. Oh, okay. I listened to music last week. Uh -huh. I didn't listen to music last week. Excellent, Damaris. Um, I cooked. Cooked. Cooked dinner last night. Uh huh. And I didn't cook dinner last. Perfect. Okay, Omar. Is in negative. One negative and one affirmative, Omar. One and one. Okay. Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. Try to remember the lesson A, Omar. I what? Okay. okay, pay attention. For example, here, Omar, look at the screen. Uh, we have number one. It says, Kate stayed home. She didn't visit her parents. These are regular verbs. We have one affirmative and one negative. Now tell me two examples, Omar, one affirmative and one negative. You can use these verbs, watch, practice, Study, cook, play, invite, clean, listen, email. They are in they are in lesson A. Now tell me two examples, Omar, affirmative and negative. Um, affirmative is um, 
Rita Watch TV. Uh -huh. um, she. Um, ok, negative. Negative. Uh -huh. She. She did. Didn't. Decent. Uh -huh. um, practice her guitar. Practice. Practice her guitar. Remember in negative is oh, uh, she didn't practice her guitar. Oops, I don't know what happened here. Give me a second. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my page. Uh, I don't know what happened here. I was doing this part. Hi, what is my page? Let me go back here. My book is, my mouse is kind of crazy. So remember here, Omar, in simple past, in negative sentences, in negative sentences, the verb goes in simple form. Okay, it goes in simple form. Like here, she didn't practice. Okay, here we are. And here, Rita. Okay, Omar. Um, one more time. In affirmative sentences, Omar, the verb goes in simple past. In negative sentences, the verb goes in simple form. Can you see, Omar? Yeah. So, uh -huh. so Rita watched TV and she didn't practice her guitar. Okay? Okay. Well, now let's continue. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, you're welcome, Omar. Okay, now let's move. Okay, now it says uh, the second part make simple past statements with irregular verbs. Okay, do you remember the irregular verbs? Do you remember the exercise that we did in the vocabulary notebook? We have a chart that is with full of verbs in simple past and they are irregular. Yes. Like ate, wrote, swam felt, etc. Okay. They are in your vocabulary notebook in the student book. One more time, make simple past statements with irregular verbs. Okay, tell me just one example. It could be affirmative or negative. Just one. Okay. Abigail, tell me one simple past irregular verbs. Okay. I took a English class. I didn't take a English class. Excellent. Okay, Damaris. Um, I put a new shoe. I what? I cook. Cook. Talk or cook? Cook. Both. Uh huh. New shoes? New shoes. Uh -huh. um, okay, there is affirmative. Tell me one negative. Or the same sentence, but in negative form, Damaris. I didn't buy uh -huh. new shoes. Excellent. Yes, Omar, the same. Mm. I did run. I run in past affirmative. I run. Uh -huh. Affirmative. I run 
in the park, for example? Uh, yes, in the park, in the beach. Okay, now negative form? I didn't. Didn't. Uh, in use the, the same verb. Use, use the same verb. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, cook. Cook. And that's a regular verb. We are using the verbs that we saw in lesson B, Omar. You uh, can look in your lesson B. We have some verbs. They are irregular. So I didn't. I didn't. Um, Talk. Uh -huh. Talk. <clears throat> An exam. I didn't took or I didn't take. Remember, in negative form, the verb goes in simple form. I didn't take an exam. Okay? Okay. I didn't take an exam. Correct. Uh, let's see, ask simple past, yes, no questions. Yes, no questions are the ones that begin with did. For example, did you watch TV last night? Did you cook dinner last night? Did you go out last Sunday? Did you read a book last month? Just like that. Okay, Abby, tell me one example, please. One question. Did you get home late yes. last night? Excellent. Okay, Tamaris. Um, did you play volleyball last week? Excellent. Okay, Omar, one question. Mm, did you have to work late? Uh-huh, when? Yesterday, last week, uh, last month, last Friday. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday, excellent. Okay, Jesus, one question, please. Did you do exercise last Saturday? Excellent, perfect. Let's continue with vocabulary. It says, make simple past forms of at least 12 regular verbs. Okay, tell me, you are one, two, three, four? Okay, you are four right now. You're going to tell me two verbs, each of you. Regular verbs, okay, just two. So let's start with Abigail. Tell me two verbs in simple past, regular. Um, can you repeat that, please? Uh -huh. Tell me two verbs in simple past. Regular verbs, okay? Just two. Ah, okay. Um, study. Uh -huh. And watch. Watch. Okay, Damaris, two, again. Two verbs. Try it. Uh-huh. Um, say. Okay, let's see. Jesus, tell me two, please. Make. Study. Again, can you repeat, please? Study. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Play. Play. Okay. Omar, two. Work. Uh-huh. And uh, clean. Clean, perfect. Okay, make simple past forms of at least eight irregular verbs. Okay, can you tell me 
some verbs that you remember in simple past irregular? Just tell me, try to participate. Eat. Eat. Uh -huh. Road. Okay. Yes. Yes. When. What? When. When, yes. Spoke. Ran. Red. Yes. Made. Yes. That. Had. That. Excellent. Okay. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Okay, and it says use time expressions with simple past. For example, last week. Another time expressions? Last night? Yes. Last weekend? Yes. Yesterday? Yesterday. Last year? Last year, last month, yes. Last Friday. Yes, correct. Okay, let's continue with conversation strategies. Your responses like good for you and congratulations. Do you remember the other expressions? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, yes. You poor thing. Poor thing. Yes, <laughs> you poor thing. Happy birthday. Excellent. Good for you. Okay, then it says use you did to show that you're listening, so you're surprised or you're interested, okay? And writing use before, after, when, and then to order events. This is the last activity that you did yesterday, okay? The paragraph that you were writing. Well, this is what we saw in unit 10. Do you have any questions, guys, about this part? No. No. No? No. Are you sure? Omar. No, teacher. Are you sure, Omar? Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, as I said before, you can open up your cameras so we can see each other. I don't know why the Maris keeps saying no, no, no. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see your faces. Yes, I want to see your faces. Or at least I took paste a picture of you. <laughs> so I can see your faces. I don't know why. Or you can do like, uh, what's her name? Like Itzel, Itzel has a picture of her. So you can place a picture of you over there. It would be nice. So let's see, don't be shy. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I'm going to do another activity. Next week. Why next week? <laughs> okay, so we are here. Okay, so pay attention. Here we have, okay, this is a story. It says simple past story. We're going, to, we're going to do this reading. It says the simple past story. Okay, you are one, two, three, four. Okay, excellent. So, um, Jesus, can you read the first part, please? The first paragraph? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm writing an email to my friend Kevin. I met him at the shopping center last summer and we became from we became friends. I 
think he's got a problem with the audio. Yes, Jesus? Jesus. Again, teacher? Yes, please. I didn't listen to the last part. I'm okay. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm writing an email to my friend Kevin. I met him at the shopping center last summer and we became friends. We have a good time together. Excellent. This time was better. Okay, the second part, Damaris, please. Um, he invited me to their home. We played computer games. After a while, he started open, open uh -huh. to go to the theater. Theater, but we didn't want to go because playing computer games was more fun than going to the theater. The theater. Okay, so let's continue. Omar, please. Last month, they moved to another city. Kevin was very ups upset because he didn't want to leave this city. Okay. Um, only uh, this verb, uh, Omar, is they moved, okay? Move. Ah, that's the pronunciation. They moved to another city. And Abby, can you finish, please? Yes. <clears throat> he sent me some photos of their new home and his new school. He made new friends there. I was really glad to hear that, but I really miss him. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna do something. Uh, just let me fix this. Okay. Um, oh. My name is Nick. We're going to change some things here. Uh, we're going to change the name. Nick. My friend Kevin, we're going to change the names. Kevin, too. We're going to change this and mix him up. We're going to change this part, the shopping center. Last summer. And we're going to change the activity, play computer games. Offer to go to the theater. You want to go because play because and we're going to change this part. You're going to create a new story and we're going to change this part. Ah, just send me some photos of there. New. Okay, I want to do this. Uh, you're going to change the underlying words, okay? So you're going to create a new story. You don't have to write everything. Only on a piece of paper, you can write, for example, paragraph one, and you only write the words that you're going to change. For example, hi, my name is Damaris. I'm writing an email to my friend, Luisa. I met her. If your friend is a girl, well, we're going to use here, her instead of him. Or if your friend is a boy, well, you can leave this part the same, him, okay? So one more time, hi, my name is Damaris. I'm writing an email to my friend, Luisa. I met her at the beach, okay, last, what can I say? Last winter, okay, last winter or last December, last May, last April, and we became friends. We had a good time together. He invited me to their home. We, you can say we watched movies, and after a while, his father offered to go to the park. But we didn't want to go because 
blah, blah, blah. And you change the ideas, okay? So that's what you're going to do. Only change the underlying words. And when we finish, I'm going to choose only two people to read their story. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay, so yes. I'm to do, let's do it fast. Uh, three minutes, is it okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have three minutes, okay guys? So let's do it. Only change the underlying words, please. Go ahead. You have one minute. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, you are four. I'm going to choose just two of you. Uh, let me see. Um, Damaris, tell me a number from one to four. One. One. Oh, Omar, you're the number one. Go ahead, Omar. Okay. Mm. Hi. 
My name is Omar. I am. Um, uh -huh. I am continue writing. Writing an email to my friend Alan. Uh -huh. I meet him at the is swimming. At the swimming pool. Swimming. Yes, in the beach. At the swimming pool or at the beach? Ah, uh, on the beach. Uh -huh. um, last weekend. Okay. And we became friends. We had good time together. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Mm. He invited invited me to <clears throat> their home. Uh -huh. Um we cooks um food, um, Mexican food. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> after a while, uh -huh. his father uh -huh. offered her to go no. Um, uh -huh, yes, to go and you can mention a place. Uh, to go to the movie, uh -huh. but we didn't want to go because uh, cook Mexican food. Okay, cooking Mexican food. Cooking, cooking Mexican food. Um, was more fun and uh -huh. remember your activity was more fun than mm. <clears throat> and what more fun um than go to the movie than going to the movies. Okay, you can skip the third paragraph, continue with the fourth paragraph she sent me. Okay, the last paragraph, Omar, he sent me. He sent me some um, photos uh -huh. of their Uh, 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 their new place, their new garden, their new neighborhood, for example. Okay, their new neighborhood. Uh -huh. And and his new um, friend. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. He okay. made new friend there. I was really glad to hear that but I really miss him. Wait. I really miss him. I really. Yes, okay. excellent, Omar. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can do it, Omar. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's see. Omar, tell me a number from, let's see, from one to four, Omar. Um, two. Number two, Damaris. Okay, go ahead. 
<laughs> Thank you, Omar. Continue, Damaris. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Damaris. I'm writing an email to my friend, Ronnie. Uh -huh. I met him at the, at the park last week. Uh, and we became friends. We had to time together. He invited me to their home. We saw movies. After a while, his father offered to go to the, the beach. Uh -huh. But we didn't want to go because South movie was more fun um, to the beach. Than going to the beach. Uh -huh. So you can go to the four paragraphs directly he sent me? He sent me some photos of the new world. Uh, he made new friends there. I was really glad to hear that, but I really miss um, uh -huh. sir. I really miss him. Miss him. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Damaris. It was excellent. You're welcome. Can you see you're really good? I don't know why sometimes you don't want to speak. You're kind of shy. I don't know why. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent, guys. Well, now let's move to the next part. So today we have to start with uh, the unit 11. So let's go to the student book. I'm just looking for the book. Okay, so let me see what is it. Where's the workbook? No. Just give me a second. I'm looking for the book. I think I need to close. Give me a second, I'm trying to upload the book. Yes, now it's here. So, let's see the one. Oh, no, this unit is right. We almost finished the book. This is unit 11, then unit 10, 12, and we're done with the book one. Okay, this is the, okay, unit 11, it's called Looking Back, okay? That's the name of unit 11, Looking Back. So tell me, what do you understand about the title of unit 11, Looking Back? What is that? What do you think? What's the meaning of looking back? Mm, it's uh, looking to the past. Uh, looking to the past, uh huh. Could be another idea. Okay, Damaris, Jesus, Omar, what do you think? The meaning is looking back. Like before, too. Before, okay. Jesus, Omar, what's your opinion? We're going to check past um, lesson. Past lesson. Yes, okay, well, looking back, uh, as you can imagine, you, were, you mentioned something about the past, yes. We are going to talk about past activities. As you can see here, we have some pictures, okay? So we have some children here. 
So we are going to talk about some situations in our childhood, okay? Or when we were younger. So here we have the learning objective. It says in unit 11, you learn how to, let me see, um, Jesus, can you read the learning objectives, please? In unit 11, you learn to use the pass of B, ask simple pass information questions, talk about past experiences, show interest in chat or in a conversation. Okay, the last part it was, it wasn't clear. Okay, here it says these expressions with go and get, show interest in other people, use any way to change the topic or end a conversation. Okay, so this is the unit 11. So this is what we're going to see. And here we have the unit opener. Now let me look for another file. 11. Is here. Just let me see. So we're going to practice with some questions before. Where is it? Um, what happened? This is not the, uh, give me a second. Oh, I think my, oh, no, no, no. No, my file was, no, they are not here. Okay, so let's see, let's continue here. It says, before you begin, what do you remember about these things, okay? So remember, we're gonna remember situations about the past. Picture number one, we have a child with his pet. So try to remember your first pet, okay? That is a topic, your first pet. So now we're gonna ask some questions about your first pet. Okay. Remember, think about your childhood. You have a pet. Okay, so here we have some questions, okay? Let's see. Um, Damaris, did you have a pet? Think about your childhood, okay, Damaris, when you were a little girl. Did you have a pet? Mm, yes, I did. Yes. What was his name? Mm. Bobby. Oh. Was it a gift? Mm. What mean gift? Was it a gift? What mean gift? It's for example, uh, let's imagine that today is your birthday and maybe your father is like, oh, that matters. today is your birthday. Look, this is something that I have for you. Your father gives you a cell phone. So the cell phone is your gift. Mm. So your pet, was it a gift? 
hot dog? Yes or no? Yes. Hot yes. Dog? Hot dog. Okay. How long was it your pet? One year, two years, three years? Eight. Eight years? Yes. Oh, that's a long time. I don't know what's going on here. I'm sorry. My windows are opening. Sarah here. Okay, we are here. Okay, first friend. Okay, so this is about friends. Okay, let's continue with Jesus. Okay, Jesus, tell me who was your first friend? My first friend was Gilberto. Gilberto, was he your neighbor? Mm, no, he wasn't. Was, uh, was he in your class? Yes. He was. Okay. How long were you friends? Five years. Five years. Excellent. Okay. Abby, the same questions for you, Abby. Who was your first friend? Uh, a girl from my neighborhood. Your neighborhood. Okay, was she your neighbor? You see, you say, well, you say yes. Okay, was she in your class? Yes. Yes, okay. How long were you friends? Um, from 10 years. For 10 years? Yes. <laughs> That's a long time. Okay, well, the last topic, the number three, the picture that you have in your unit opener, it's about home. So now let's talk about your first home. So let's see where did you live? You live did you Okay, so these questions are for Omar. Okay, Omar, think about your childhood, okay? Remember, um, tell me, where did you live? Um, I, I did live. I lived, uh-huh. In Acapulco. Okay. Uh, did you like your neighborhood? Yes, 
I did. Yes, I did. What was your neighborhood like? Um, is it was? Is was? Uh -huh. Um, uh, quiet. Quiet. Um. Is. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And now let's continue with the book. Okay, so let's see. We are here with the book. Okay, so we are here. Uh, this is the lesson A. Lesson A, it's called My First. Okay. It says, I remember my first day of school or I remember my first day of work. Okay, do you remember your first day of school? I mean, do you remember when you were in kindergarten? No. Ah. Are you sure? <laughs> you don't remember? What? Do you remember your first day at school? A little. Yes. Uh, yes. Who said yes? Not much. Not much. Okay. So, what do you remember? Let's see, Jesus. What do you remember about your first day of school? It could be maybe your first day at kindergarten or your first day in elementary school. What do you remember? Well, in kindergarten, the other children was crying. Where? <laughs> Where? Okay, the other children were? Were crying. <laughs> okay, listen. For example, Jesus, were you nervous? Yes. <laughs> Did you? Okay. Did you cry? No. No. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. How about you, Abigail? What do you remember about about your first day of school? Let's talk about kindergarten. Did you cry? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Oh. I don't know. I didn't. I don't cry. I, I very didn't sure. cry. I'm very sure I don't cry. I, I don't so know, I didn't. I'm so nervous. I guess. You were nervous? Yes. Okay, well, pay attention here. Um, we're going to listen to these people. We have Jeff Chang and Rosa Leon. Jeff is talking about his first day of school, and Rosa is talking about her first day at work. So I'm going to play the audio, you're going to listen, and you're going to follow this information in your books. And at the end, we have these questions. Why was Jeff scared, and why was Rosa nervous? Okay, you're going to answer these questions. So give me a second. And I'm gonna play the audio. I wanna look for the audio here. Started. A. Listen. Why 
was Jeff scared? Why was Rosa nervous? I remember my first day of school. Jeff Chang. It was awful. I was so scared of the teacher. I remember her name, Ms. Johnson, and that she was very strict. The other kids weren't too happy either. We were all very quiet that day. Did you listen to the audio? Yes, I did. Okay. So here we have the questions. Why was Jeff scared and why was Rosa nervous? What happened? So what are the answers for these questions? Why was Jeff scared and why was Rosa nervous? Her teacher, she was very strict. Uh, his teacher, do you mean yes? yes? Okay. Oh, and how about Rosa? Rosa was nervous because it was her first day. Yes, all right. It was his first day. Okay, for example, remember your first day at school. Well, let's think about your first day at English Access. Okay, the day one. So, were you nervous on the first day? Yes. Ah, yes. Really, really? Yes. <laughs> But why? Why were you nervous? I don't know, because it's something new, I guess. Because it was something new, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, and the other guys, what do you think? What do you have to say? Damaris, why were you nervous? Why? Did we later? Because what? Did we later? Entre después, ya todos estaban cuando yo entré. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Omar, were you nervous on your first day? Yes. Why, Omar? Um, I'm not speak. English. <laughs> okay. I couldn't speak English. Repeat. I I cou couldn't couldn't speak speak English. English. Uh, excellent. Okay, so that was that's the reason why. And how about you, Jesus? Were you nervous on the first day of class? Yes. <laughs> so everybody was nervous that day. Okay, what do you remember about your teacher? Was your teacher strict? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. She was very strict. <laughs> yes, your teacher was very strict. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, let's continue here. Pay attention. Part B says, can you complete the answers to these questions about Jeff and Rosa? Then ask and answer the questions with a partner. Uh, here, this part says, figure it out. Figure it out. It means that you're going to do it alone. Uh, just give me a second. Someone is just here. I'm sorry. Give me a second. 
Okay, so you're going to do the exercise B. So you're going to complete this information according with the uh, paragraphs, okay? Then we're going to check together. So let's do it. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you, Miss Nancy? I'm fine, teacher, working. <laughs> How's everything going with, uh, uh, with the classes? Uh, I think it's, it's going well, teacher, so far. <laughs> so far it's going well, that's yeah. good. Are you getting used to Zoom? Yes, little by little. Uh, the information that you sent me yesterday, it really helped me a lot. Great, really? yeah? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yes, yeah, sometimes it seems like just to push, you know, one or two things and that fix everything. I found it, uh, for example, with the audios at the beginning, I uh -huh. didn't know what to do. And then I saw that I needed to click on share audio of the computer and that worked better that works better and i didn't know that i was only sharing you know the the pictures yes i think i need to get used to working with the computer <laughs> maybe that's one of my weaknesses. yeah uh-huh but it's little by little little yes, by I little know. yes you're right <laughs> okay thank you miss nancy and how are you're the welcome. students doing 
Yeah, I, I like the way they work. They like to participate a lot, all of them. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, uh, I'm going to take just a few minutes because the <laughs> class is almost over. Yeah. Uh, okay, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Good afternoon. Who do we have here? We have uh, Abigail, Jesus, Damaris, and Omar. Uh -huh. Good afternoon hi. to all of you. Hi, hi. Hi. How hi. are good you? Afternoon. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. Fine. 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 That's good yes. to hear. That's good to hear. ¿Cómo oh. los está tratando Miss Nancy? Uh. <laughs> Mal. 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 ¿Cómo Ay, está? <laughs> oh, no. Miss Nancy tiene que... Es cierto. <laughs> Se está tratando súper bien. Qué bueno. Oh, thank bueno, you. Chicos. Bueno, nos da mucho gusto que, que ustedes sigan eh, al pendiente de sus clases. Realmente este grupo se ha mantenido a pesar de que, eh, bueno, ya llevamos un mes y un poquito más con esto de la contingencia. Y bueno, chicos, que ustedes le sigan echando ganas, se conecten a sus clases y pues hagan su mejor esfuerzo, que es lo más importante. Eh, al final del día, eh, todo este esfuerzo extra ¿no? de conectarnos online pues eh, vale la pena. Eh, yo estoy dando unas clases también y yo creo que hemos estado trabajando mucho mejor con la aplicación de Zoom que con Click Meeting. Eh, creo que el cambio ha sido bueno porque ya todos podemos hablar. Antes era como que muy difícil con Click Meeting. Y bueno, ahorita ya esperamos que, que todo vaya mejorando. Y el día de hoy los estoy visitando porque eh, aparte de saludarlos ¿no? y, de, y de felicitarlos por, por su constancia, porque les voy a dar un anuncio muy especial como parte de, de tomar pues ventaja ¿no? de, de todas estas eh, redes tecnológicas y de todo esto que se está implementando y también tomar ventaja del tiempo que estamos implementando en estas clases, pues hemos decidido que vamos a lanzar una actividad muy especial para ustedes y esta actividad es un concurso Jeopardy Online. No sé si ustedes, si alguno de ustedes eh, haya, haya visto o alguna vez haya visto algún programa de estos de concursos. Eh, Jeopardy es un programa eh, pues que ahorita no está en la tele, pero que anteriormente era muy popular y de ahí pues hubo otros concursos como lo de los 100 mexicanos dijeron, como lo de este concursos donde hay preguntas y van adivinando las personas. Y yo perdí es un concurso así. Entonces, en English Access vamos a tener nuestro propio concurso de Jeopardy, pero va a ser un concurso online chicos va a ser un concurso online este concurso eh, es muy sencillo de lo que se trata es de que hay algunas categorías déjenme les voy a enseñar hay algunas categorías hay una tablita en donde ustedes ven las categorías y cada una de estas categorías eh, tiene cinco preguntas y las preguntas valen de 100 hasta 500 puntos. Entonces, tú agarras, por ejemplo, esta es una, es un, esta es la tabla del de nivel avanzado, las de ustedes van a ser un poquito más fáciles, pero aquí tú agarras y tú, por ejemplo, vas a suponer Omar dice, bueno, yo quiero la pregunta de verbos en pasado por 100 puntos. Y entonces ya Omar le hacemos esa pregunta, ¿no? ¿Cuál es el pasado de REST? Si contesta bien, se gana esos 100 puntos. Pero si contesta mal, otro compañero puede contestarla y entonces él le roba esos 100 puntos. Y así vamos a suponer Damaris dice, no, pues yo quiero la categoría de describir, pero describing people, 200, describing people for 200 y ya. Boom, la pregunta, una, this type of person doesn't greet, doesn't say please, not, th not thank you, and is very impolite. We say this person is, y ya tiene que contestar Damaris, si contesta bien, gana esos puntos, si no, otro compañero puede contestar. Y así hasta que se acaban las 25 preguntas. El alumno que tiene el mayor puntaje es el alumno ganador. ¿Y qué va a pasar? 
Bueno, vamos a tener este concurso, lo vamos a tener en este mes de mayo, lo vamos a estar haciendo la próxima semana en todos los salones, chicos. Entonces, entre ustedes, la maestra Nancy, eh, luego le voy a pasar eh, sus preguntas, sus diapositivas, para que hagan este juego entre todos la próxima semana y así salga un ganador de entre ustedes. Ahora, lo único aquí importante mencionar es que a la hora de estar participando, pues nada más van a tener 15 segundos para contestar sus preguntas. Si tardan más, pues ya puede contestar alguien más. Después de que hayan hecho su eh, concurso interno, va a haber un ganador. Y aquí es donde viene lo interesante. Vamos a suponer que ganó eh, Jesús, ¿no? Entonces ganó Jesús... Y Jesús va a tener la oportunidad de pasar a la final. En donde, la final del 11 de mayo, en donde va a participar contra alumnos de otros grupos. Del mismo nivel, pero de otros grupos. Eh, se van a hacer eh, eh, cuatro, se van a juntar cuatro grupos del mismo nivel y van a concursar. Y ahí el alumno, aquí está lo interesante, les digo, ahí el alumno que gane en la final, es el alumno va a tener la oportunidad de ganar el premio y el premio es una beca de dos meses al 100%. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que si, por ejemplo, Damaris eh, va al corriente con sus pagos, entonces no pagaría ni mayo ni junio. ¿Ok? Si, por ejemplo, debe abril, pues no pagaría ni abril, ni mayo. Si, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, alguien va adelantado y ya pagó hasta junio, pues no va a pagar julio ni agosto. Entonces, les van a sumar dos meses extra a sus colegiaturas. Ese es el gran premio para los alumnos que ganen cuando sea la final de cuatro grupos. Entonces, Está, está muy interesante, se me hace un buen premio y eh, pues más que nada chicos se trata de participar y poder en, 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 en poner a trabajar pues todo lo que han aprendido. Aquí las preguntas no tienen que estudiar nada en especial, no es que tengan que repasar algún tema, no. De hecho, pues las preguntas son preguntas abiertas, preguntas en inglés y pues más que nada eh, se trata de pues entender la pregunta y responder como nosotros eh, realmente vayamos pudiendo. No sé, chicos, ¿cómo ven cómo ven este concurso? ¿Tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta? ¿No? ¿Todo bien? Si no, ¿quieren abrir el micrófono? En el chat? Todo bien, perfecto, muy bien. Bueno, pues todavía estoy seguro que faltaron algunos compañeros, uh -huh. pero este la próxima semana yo creo eh, mis... Nancy por ahí eh, también les va a estar comentando. Y pues la próxima semana mis Nancy se va a acomodar viendo más o menos cómo van avanzando, que no se atrasen con sus clases y ya este, van a llevar a cabo su concurso interno, ¿ok? Y ya de ahí cuando mis Nancy me diga ya pues, ganó fulanito, pues ya yo hablaré con esa persona para felicitarlo, invitarlo a la gran final y decirle en qué horario va a ser, ¿ok? Chicos, pues... Es más que nada eso, eh, saludarlos, felicitarlos por su constancia e invitarlos al concurso. Espero que todos participen, espero eh, que ganen, eh, de este grupo gane, ¿no? De este grupo gane el alumno que se quede con el premio de la beca. Esto es, ya está en nivel intermedio, entonces quien gana, ustedes irían a la final del nivel intermedio. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué del nivel intermedio? Porque ya están más para el libro 2 que para el libro 1, ¿ok? Entonces, van a participar con alumnos que vayan así, terminando el libro 1 y empezando el 2. Pues, chicos, no, no les quito más tiempo, ya, ya me robé la, la, el final de la clase y este, estamos en contacto, seguimos a sus órdenes, cualquier cosa, échenle muchas ganas y pues vamos a seguir en, en comunicación. Thank you, Miss Nancy. You're welcome, teacher. Okay. Thank Goodbye. you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Thanks Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, guys, did you finish? Yes. Well, let's see, it's 6 p.m., so we don't have time to do more. 
Uh, well, for today, uh, there's no homework, okay? Because we're just beginning. <laughs> uh, you're lucky. <laughs> oh, today is Thursday. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, so for today, no homework. So enjoy your weekend. Okay? Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. So we're going to continue on Monday. And I'm going to get some exercises so we can practice here in class. Okay, guys? Yes. Okay, well, thank you for coming. See you on Monday. And I hope to see your faces next week. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So have a nice weekend. Take care, please. And see you, you on Monday. See you Monday. Okay, see you. Bye bye. 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 See you.